Hey everybody, I'm Sal Sincata, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get incredible portraits with one light, and then we're gonna do it with one light and a reflector. So no matter where you are, you can create incredible portraits. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna start with the uh, Westcott FJ400, and we have an Octabox set up on it. So it's the large Octabox, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this up, and I'm gonna adjust this as a single light source. And so for beauty portraits, a single light source is not a bad thing, it's a good thing. We don't have to overcomplicate our lighting setup all the time, but it's gonna give us very directional light, okay? So we have to be aware of that. When we're using directional light, we have to understand the shape of faces, the shape of bodies, what kind of shadows it's gonna create. And so with this, we've got a large light source and because of that, the light's gonna be a little bit softer, right? If we wanted a harder light source, hard edges, we might go with a smaller light source. But for here, we've got a beauty portrait, so I want things to be a little bit uh, softer. So that's why we've chosen this. And on camera, I'm using a uh, Canon 5D Mark IV. Uh, I'm using an 85 millimeter lens. My settings for this, I'm in manual mode, 2.8, um, 200th of a second, okay? So you'll figure out your own settings. So what I'm gonna do first, we're gonna take a test shot here. And I'm gonna check out my lighting pattern. And what I'm looking to do is see how that's looking on her face. Now we're getting very nice light on her face. I'm a little bit underexposed. So what I'm gonna do now is right from the uh, X2M is we are gonna change that power output. And so all I'm gonna do is add another stop of light. And as I do that here, it's changing up top, makes it super easy. And we're gonna take another test shot. Okay, now I've gone a little bit too much. So I moved one stop of light and really all I needed was a half. So I got a little aggressive there. So we're gonna do a half stop of light and now we should be dialed in. So I'm at four or five power setting. One more test. Beautiful, and I'm getting the light I want. Now, what you will notice as you're seeing this on the screen is you're seeing directional light. It's not true Rembrandt uh, because of the size of the light source and its placement. Uh, if I start getting a little bit more to the side, a little bit higher, it's gonna be a true Rembrandt, but I don't want those deep, dark shadows, right? So I wanna show off her skin tones. I don't wanna block up those shadows. And so it's creating a nice pattern across her face. That's what you're seeing in that shot. So let's work through this, shall we? Here we go. One, two. Now, what you will notice, actually, I wanna pause here for a second. What you will notice is when you're working with your subject, you wanna make sure they're aware where the light is, right? So as they're modeling, you wanna make sure they understand that the light's here. So I'm gonna coach you on this, the light's here. So if you start looking off that direction, I got no light. So you can work from here with me, this way, back to me. That's where that one light. So that's a limitation when you're creating directional light. Everybody has to understand where that light source is. Uh, I'm gonna baby step you this way, perfect. All right, let's rock through it. What you're seeing is how with just one light, we're able to create beautiful a beautiful portrait. But how do we make it better, right? That's what it's always about as a portrait photographer. How do we take one light, make it better? How do we take our portraits, make them better, buy new cameras, new lenses, all that other kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, it's really make, keeping it simple and that's how we're gonna make the portrait better. So for me, my favorite setup in the world is this setup here. I love working with the eyeliner. And the reason I like the eyeliner is because this is gonna push light back up, right? So we're still gonna have a single light source, but this is gonna push that light back up. So in the spirit of a beauty portrait, uh, I might not want directional light. I want, might want something a little bit softer, a little bit more pleasing on the skin. And so this is the perfect add-on, if you will, to any studio setup. And for the record, this is my number one lighting setup for all my headshots. I have an Octabox up top, and I've got the eyeliner on the bottom, and it's just absolutely beautiful. So let me show you. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put that eyeliner right in front of her, okay, because we want it pushing this light right into her. So baby step this way, there you go, beautiful. And now, obviously, if we put the light right here, it's, it's kind of in my way, uh, so what I do is I cheat a little bit, put it off to the side, so I guess technically I'm still getting a little bit of direction here, uh, and then what I wanna do is go up a little bit higher with it, so that I'm shooting uh, underneath it, and what's gonna end up happening is, is this light is coming down 
bouncing off this and filling up all those shadows underneath, okay? And that's important when you're creating portraits because shadows, right, can be good. Depends on what you're trying to create. But for a beauty portrait, I want to lift that and fill all that. It's very, very pleasing on the skin. So let's take a test shot here because we might actually have too much light. Because I'm not changing the power setting on the light, now we're in a sense, even though it's not a full light, it's additive in nature. So this reflector is gonna push back up, add more light to the scene. So I'm gonna take a test shot and show you with my previous settings so you can see the difference. One, two. And while it looks very good right out of camera, you're seeing that shot, uh, I'm gonna dial down the power to a half stop less. So I'm just gonna hit the dial here. Dial down a half power, stop less. One more shot. One, two. Okay, and now we're getting a nice moody portrait out of that. So I'm gonna shoot through this and show you those shots. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna zoom in on one of these shots and what you're gonna notice is the catch lights in her eyes. These catch lights are happening naturally. I'm not going into Photoshop, dodging and burning. Uh, what you're seeing is the highlighter that's creating that natural kind of uh, highlight in her eyes, hence the highlighter. Uh, it's doing that, it's creating those natural catch lights and it's absolutely stunning. So it's soft, but it gives the eyes a nice pop and brilliance, uh, which I think is pleasing to any portrait, right? You want it right out of the eyes. All right, everybody, that is a wrap today. And hopefully we have shown you how easy it is with one light to create beautiful portraits. So don't forget what we covered today. With one light, right, we can create a dark, moody portrait. Not super dark, but we can create that moody portrait with some nice, pleasing shadows. And the key there is to think about what you want before you ever create your shot. But then for a beauty portrait, what we like to be able to do is add that highlighter there. It's gonna fill in those shadows and create a much softer look. It's perfect for any headshot. So if you're doing corporate work, beauty work, fashion work, it is just absolutely perfect. It's my number one go-to. So the real question is, which one did you like better? Let us know below. Did you like the one single light, moodier portrait, directional light, or did you like the one with the highlighter where we're filling in those shadows and creating more of a evenly lit beauty portrait. Let us know. Hope you enjoyed.